Okay, we have started record. So I'm going to continue uh, on, on this example. Okay, as I said, this is just to help you recall your memory on shear force and bending moment diagram and also form shear force and bending moment equation. Okay, because this is critical now, later on in week nine and week 10, where we do deflection of beams, you need the equations. It's not just sketching, okay? So I believe Dr. Koshi have, uh, when you have taken 2P, Dr. Koshi have taught some of it, some of you forget, I want you to recall now, okay? Because this will be useful for your term test. Right, so we found the reactions, okay? So now we want to, we are, we are going to form the shear force and bending moment equation, okay? So we're going to form, we're going to uh, formulate the uh, shear force and bending moment equation. Okay, and I'm going to copy uh, the diagram. I'm just sketch. I'm going to copy the whole thing. And I'm going to paste picture. Hopefully it works. Yay, it works. Okay. So I'm going to screen it down. So we can see when we're doing the problem. Okay. So we are we are going to do uh we're going to form our shear force and bending moment equation. And there's a limit. Okay, so this will be between point A to point C. Basically, there are, there's going to be three separate uh, shear force and three separate bending moment equation. Okay, and it's going to be piecewise. I think you have seen this in math before. So the limits come from 0x zero and 0 0.2 meters. Okay, so you know that there's a gradient load. So I'm going to sketch the, the, the distribution. Okay, so if now this is my okay. so this is zero, zero point two, and this is x, this is omega, and this is at uh. Uh, 10 times 10 to power 3. Okay, so we have uh, the gradient looks like this. Okay, so we want to find the equation of this line. Okay, we have to find the equation. Now, why do we want to find the equation? Okay, so we are going to sketch the from A to C the free body diagram. So this is our point A. And our point A, we know that there's a two kilo Newton going up. Okay, right. Then we have a distance from here to here, which is known as our X, right? We want to find this equivalent load or epsilon equivalent or omega equivalent, okay? We want to find this, okay? And because it's a triangular load, we know that this is x over three, okay? We know that it's uh, x, let me write bigger x over three, okay? You know this distance is x over three, okay? And then at, the, at, at, at where x stop, okay, we are gonna have a shear force and bending moment uh, 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 force, okay? One shear force. So this is V as a function of X over here. This is M as a function of X. Now, can someone tell me why V to the function of X is coming down, M to the function of X is going anticlockwise? Anyone, can you remember? No. Is it like a counter moment? 
accountable. It is accountable, man. But why is that? Because when you're so, this is our analysis direction. Okay, our analysis direction. Okay. So our analysis is going from left to right. Okay. So when 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 the arrows come come down goes like this, and the moment goes in this direction, we are making assumption. Okay. So this is because we assume positive shear. and positive bending moment. Yeah, I, I think you all, you all know this. You are just forgotten. Okay. Now, if the analysis is going from right to left, okay, so always remember the geometric datum is on the left-hand side, always. Okay. The geometric datum is always on the left-hand side when we plot our structure. Okay. And I'll tell you the reason why uh, later on. Now, if we were to do our analysis from right to left, so now our geometric data is still the same. It's on the left hand side. Okay, so this is our geometric data. This is our X. Now we are analyzing our structure from right to left. Okay, so this is our X, the distance from here to here. This is our L minus X. Okay. So now if our analysis is from right to left, okay, so our analysis now go this way. Then positive shear will be going up and positive bending moment assumption will be going clockwise. Okay, so you can see the difference. Once the analysis is going from left to right, the other one is from right to left. Okay, now, as I say, this was done in 2P, probably you could not remember, just to quickly recap. Okay, now coming back to here. So we want to, now before I go on, are you all good? Any questions so far? I have a question. Here. Yes. Um, yes. For the distance between like where the shear force is and where the W is, why is it? one uh, x over three should it be two x over three if we're taking it from the reference point like I'm, okay. no this one ah that's a good question x okay x which i'm going to circle now the distant x where the dot is that is where you are doing your analysis helena is that okay yeah right. okay i see yeah. it. I it's, it's not on the left hand side you're doing you're, you're doing where x stop okay you're doing where x stop Okay, right. So, hey, listen, I like that, okay? Whatever you are not clear, ask, okay? I don't want you to like not clear and keep quiet, okay? My problem is this. If you are not clear and you keep quiet, and when you go to industry, you get it wrong, you embarrass me, yes or no, not you. You yourself will be embarrassed, but I get embarrassed also, okay? So ask now, okay? Don't, don't wait. You are paying so much for your school fees, okay? But does not mean my life is yours. <laughs> anyway, so, so now we want to form the equation, the, the, the equation of this line. So omega as a function of x is equal to the gradient divided by the distance by x multiplied by x. Okay? So this is 10 power of 3. Divide by 0.2, 10 power of 3, divide by 0.2, did, I, we, did we say it's 10? Yep, divide by 0.2 is equal to 50 times 10 to power 3x. Okay, so to get uh, omega equivalent, okay, so this is you integrate from 0 to x, 50 times 10 to power 3x dx. So this is equal to uh, 50 times 10 to power 3, x squared over 2. So it's equal to 25 times 10 to power 3, x squared. Okay. So the, our, we, we found our equivalent load equation, which is equal to 25 times 10 to power 3, 
x squared. Okay, so then we do we do the first first thing. Okay, so we do static analysis. Positive is going up. The mention of forces in the y direction is equal to zero. Then you got two times ten to the power three minus by twenty five times 10 to the power 3, x squared, minus v as a function of x is equal to 0. So you get v as a function of x is equal to uh, minus 25 times 10 to the power 3, x squared, plus by 2 times 10 to the power 3. Okay. So what we have in the shear force equation is uh, we have a second order polyminal Poly polynomial equation having a set phase and it has a positive y intercept. Okay, so next we are going to look at the bending moment. Okay, so we are going to take a, a some mention about moment um, on the z axis at point x. Okay, is equal to zero. Now, where I highlight in yellow the dot, you can see the highlight. I highlight the yellow dot. That is where you take your moment from, okay? The moment is not taken on the left-hand side. The moment is was will be taken where x stop, okay? So now, from the dot, we know that uh, the, two, the, the 2 times 10 to the power 3 is going anticlockwise, okay? So this is minus 2 times 10 to the power 3 x, okay? Then the other one is equal, the, the, the equivalent load is doing uh, anticlockwise, plus 25 times 10 to the power 3 uh, x squared multiplied by x over 3. Okay. And then the moment is plus by m as a function of x. The whole thing is equal to 0. Okay. So m as a function of x is equal to uh, minus 25 times 10 to the power 3 uh, x cubed over 3 plus by 2 times 10 to the power 3 x. Okay. See whether do I do correctly minus plus. Okay, so that is we where we stop and the limits is at uh, uh, 0 to 0 0.2. Okay, now what if x so now we want to find at point at point uh, C, right? At point C, x is equal to 0 0.2. Okay. So we just so I'm going to call this equation number one. I'm going to call this equation number two. Okay. So V. So you using equation number one. Equation number one, okay, B at point C is equal to uh, minus 25 times 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 0 0.2 squared plus by 2 times 10 to the power 3. Okay, so 25 power 3 times by 0.2 times by 0.2 plus by, oh no, 25 power 3 times by 0.2 times by 0.2, so negative plus by 2 power 3 is equal to 1,000. Okay. And then uh, using equation number two, right? Moment at point C is equal to minus 25 times 10 to the power 3, 0 0.2 cube divided by 3, okay? plus by uh, 2 times 10 to the power 3 multiplied by uh, 0 0.2. Okay. So this will be equal. Minus 25 power 3 times 1.2 power 3 divided by 3 uh, plus by 2 power 3 times 1.2 is equal to 333.333. Three, three, three three, three. Newton meter. I'll do it again. Minus 25 power 3 times 1.2 power 3 divided by 3 plus by 2 power 3 times by 0.2. 